Goebbels. Lots of stories, terrible stories, about these guys. Of course, you ask a UC Patriot, and they're all heroes. Major Simone, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Okay, Ian. Where are we going? Londinium. Londinium. <laughs> Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So All right. The problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Mira? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Mm hmm I remember. Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course. Using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Are these Asili's things dangerous? Or could Asili's clean up the whole world? You're describing all our data suggests so Asilis, they're impressive hunters the few tests we've been able to run well they more than got the job done they're also shockingly adaptable the data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding which is important because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data on worlds where Asilis were present, Terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. Hmm. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us. Which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Um... And who exactly is going to be doing all this work? This person that microbes already a silies. Well, that's still not a hundred percent, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. 
But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. What kind of risks are these with are with two microbes? Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Hmm. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work. Not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Londinian hasn't had an Asili's population? It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the colony war. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toleman 2, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asili's were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asili's were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. Are we even allowed in Londinian? It's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. Run it over, run by Theramorphs. Isn't that suicide? It's dangerous, yes. But Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's going to put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? I mean, let's not waste time anymore. And then here we come. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian, it belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Is it Lieutenant Acevedo to... Romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, what do you need? Um, I've been helping a- what's wrong with Mars? Oh, nothing. I love having to take a toothbrush to every crate they drag in here. Now you gonna tell me what you need or can I get back to my work? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. It sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. No problem, mate. Um, mate, what's your problem with the Vanguard? Don't think it's a controversial belief that the UC should spend its money on its own people first. Rather than doling out credits to pilots from God knows where. But... Considering the evidence before me, 
I guess the program's not a total waste. So, what you did for New Atlantis, I appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope your family was all right. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, you would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? Uh, what do you think about this new project taking on the Terrorworks? If anyone can pull off something as downright lunatic as that, it's these people. And I'll make sure they've got all the supplies they might need to make it a reality. I get the sense that this isn't the first time you worked in this place, is that right? That's correct. Ran logistics for the Devils for years before getting the assignment here. Military logistics isn't usually thrilling work, but as bone-crushingly exhausting as this job could be, it sure as hell was never dull. Coordinating habitats for nightmares from the far side of Lantana 8B and their favorite breathing snack foods? Sure. Why not? Stocking the UC for a rancher who's got 2,000 grade 8 kilos of biomass he can ship to Mars per week? We call days like that Tuesday. <laughs> so when I heard things might be opening up again, I put in for my transfer immediately. Let me see what you got for sale. No more reliable hardware in the galaxy. Landing gear is ready. Site is clear. So, this day of play greeting ever comes. <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you aren't real. I learned Earth people used to use the stars. Thanks, man. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team, then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an... eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I... No need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, We'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there, except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Yes. Hey, Vic, this bomb this place? Why would he do that? The initial Terramorph outbreak that overran Londinian during the tail end of the Colony War came as a complete <laughs> shock. Waves of the creatures appeared out of nowhere, and the city was quickly overwhelmed. There were some attempts at evacuation, but Vey Victors decided more definitive action was merited. He ordered the spaceport to be bombed, ensuring no other ships could leave the city, halting the spread of the outbreak but leaving large sections in ruins and condemning countless lives. And the intervening 20 years have only made Londinian more hostile, not less. So my people will not be coming for you out there. Understood? You wouldn't even send a rescue party? We are unwanted guests on this planet and, as a rule, I don't put my people in any more risk than is absolutely necessary. We've got it hard enough out here. So, no, there will be no cavalry sweeping into the rescue. Can you tell us what we're going to face out there? Terramorphs, and plenty of them, 
Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is Earth. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. Understood, ma'am. Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceles plant. It contains one of our field caches, though I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into the comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. You can pinpoint the location of these samples all the way from here. Pinpoint's a bit strong. The equipment will be able to get us a rough location of any acceptable samples in the scan area. It'll be up to you, Kaiser, and I to find the things. Ready when you are. Right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. Collect your gear. Where do I collect my gear? Is it in here? Oh. Hello. You match our description. The Vanguard captain? The cabinet wanted you to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. I got frostbite again. Give him one for me, all right? It's empty. That's empty. Word of advice while you're out there. Don't trust what the bosses will tell you. Okay, I got some new uh This thing is bad. Uses a med pack when you hit. Have a fast chance to reduce damage by 50% while standing still. Fuck. Okay. Mm. Ripple's capacity armor plated at minus 10% incoming physical energy. Okay. else drop this that's bad Arc welder against aliens ooh um favorite that Micro gun. Equinox. Okay, where did I go? <laughs> Sway. Transfers complete. Those codes will allow you to temporarily store power in the most protected facility. I'm ready. All set on your gear? You are you ready 
to do this? Got the best team in the galaxy at my side. Couldn't be more ready. That's that's damn right we are. Come on, let's get out there. Geyser, Percival, everything green on your end? I am ready. Personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger's loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Geyser, kick it off. Are we going? What the fuck? Everything, grab everything. Battle stem. Okay, I'm like that. Bye. There we go. Ah, oh, that's not good. Is it? Fuck that up again. Uh, where do we go? This way? Let's go. Morph! Open fire! 
What? Where? After me, why is it going after me? Damn it. Where's that fucker at? Right now, fuck. Come on. Some movement, movement up there. How do I open this? Oh, thank you. There you go, Kaiser. Where's that at? Upstairs?
Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinium. A real marvel. They're not attacking me. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? Oh, cool. I'll take that helmet. Excuse me. Coming through. In here. Ah. in bloom you know we might be some of the only what's what's happening it's the plants can can do that holy mother you just saw that right you would tell me if i was losing my mind yeah i saw that, that heat leech became a terramorph the pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs heat leeches hide out in ships sneak away after landing and then with time they transform we we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. What does this mean for the plants to clean up the terramorphs? That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbe should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Asilis will have to look into. But given what we know about the creatures, I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. But we just witnessed. That can't be how all termorphs are born, right? No. Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here, let alone blossom. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method one that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds it's incredible hmm. pretty major is right but if what we just saw if that's possible the lazarus plant it's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph a heat leech transformation process make one into the other in an instant but that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? I don't know what to think right now. Great. Kill the Terramorph. Okay. Right there.
Got it. I think it means Lazarus' plant was used to trigger the attack in New Atlantis. Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. Using implements of nature as weapons of war. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Our Xeno weapons group never dealt with anything like this, though they probably would have liked to. No, whoever found this, they likely never expected they'd get caught some sense actually tau seti was likely their first test someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing ensure the big show the attack on new atlantis would be a success and the timing of that one it couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the terramorphs these attacks i think someone planned them to set all this in motion but I, but then you say this plant can't grow anywhere but here. It can't. At least I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. Hmm. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off, and why? Got some ideas, but it's far from responsive. I honestly have no idea. Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're going to do anything to prevent more terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser? Get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. Gotcha, let's go. Yeah, move. Right, grenade, I'll take that. But it's nice. Close. The master lock. Reboot engaged. Running diagnostic. Diagnostic complete. Multiple 
cutting to look those soldiers in the eye before blowing this place to pieces. Admiral! It just... transformed. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Colonel, the troops that closed off the sewers after my evaluation, they're all in this facility. Other than our casualties? Yes, sir. Good. Get them into defensive positions around the spaceport. No one leaves. I'll send ships as soon as possible. Thank God. None of us wanted to go down swarmed by those things. That won't be your fate, Colonel. You have my word. Transcription complete. Physical copy available. An invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Grab that recording. We... We should talk. Uh... Where's the... Oh, over here. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to... Keep what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all this a secret. Didn't he? I've learned this reading mind trick you seem to have mastered. And two reasons he could have ordered the bombing, the term of outbreak, for example. You heard that recording. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's... A cold-blooded murderer. And this is the prize sample of humanity that you see decided to let live. Yes, exactly what we all thought he was. But if the plant was used to trigger the attacks, could Vey Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? Hmm. Good point. Deal with one monster at a time. Let's go get that final sample. You got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it when you're able. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Uh, they both have a charms. Well, how non-committal of you. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown. They just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder. Things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? People have different priorities. That doesn't make them wrong. I mean, you're right, but I think everyone should at least get out once. And go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zones. You can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There's a mess of ugly out there, but my god. There's grandeur, too. Huh. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. And not knowing what's next. You're always surprised. That's what Constellation is all about. Exactly. Yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Here's the discovery, Sam. I couldn't ask for better company. Okay, that's done. Now we gotta get the fuck out of here. Come on.
Big Bang. Uh. What did that do? <laughs> um shotgun shells modified jet shotgun beam shotgun is it oh level 44 Fuck, fuck, fuck. Signal that thing's put down to call in those creatures. I think I can know. But I'm gonna need some help. So there should be some radar equipment powered up now around. Get the phone line. I'll relay my signal from there. There's one right there. Now let's. Okay. Connection received. Broadcasting signal. Come on, come on, press it, press it. They're going to turn. Kill them. Kill them first. No signal at full power. That should be the end of its connection to a stroll. Now hit it with everything you've got. You've lost. You're never going to win. They always win. Oh, shit, got a... Okay, that's all your grenades. That's it. Come on. You know, second us. Oh, good. Patrol. They're not coming after us. I guess. I guess we should grab that sample while we can. Good. Now 
I just stashed that sample with Kaiser and we're done. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. Into forward base. Okay, where, where we go? Up there. Crap. Must have been something damn important you were hunting for out there. on the comms towards the end there but it sounded like this was a success not everything we need to put this plan in motion the plan going going to still work now that we've got to clean up heat leeches and terramorphs can't be positive until we run some tests but knowing that the terramorphs have been masquerading as heat leeches all this time is a big fine arguably makes things more feasible now that we know what we're dealing with not less agreed Plus, I don't think you're going to have to push real hard to get folks on board with cleaning up one of the galaxy's greatest pests if this is what they're capable of. But none of that's getting done without the samples. You do have them, right? Sure did. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vey Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. Just the old admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. Um, I can't say anything more, I promise. Captain, he needs to know. Vey Victus is alive. Which means he could have been involved in the attacks. Alive? He's... Faye Victus? That can't be true, right? He's alive. for us all, yes. It's true. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain. Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Vey Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Do you want to come speak to him with me? Captain, I truly don't. He's already shown he's taken an interest in you. I'll be a lot more useful in the lab right now than I would be grilling Francois. So do you think you could do it? Please? You really think it was him? Plenty of people out there with grudges against the UC. But he's the only one we know had any knowledge of the Lazarus plant. So right now, it's the only option we've got. Will you do it? Oh, he and I are going to have some words. Good. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're going to want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Oh.